Friends have asked me, how do I deal with bashers? How do I deal with trolls? How do I deal with people who hurt me or spread lies against me? Well, I have to be honest with you. I look at them from perspective. What do I mean by looking at them from perspective? I look at them. I look at what they say on the social media platforms. And then I whisper to them, we will see each other at the last judgment. At the last judgment, everything will be known. At the last judgment, all our lies, all our calumnies, all our uncharitable insults will be known, will be exposed by the Lord. But meanwhile, we just have to suffer. How do I deal with bashers? How do I deal with trolls? I was asked or I was offered an answer, just ignore them. I don't ignore them. You know why? Because if I ignore them, I might forget about them. And if I forget about them, if they are not in my consciousness, I might forget to pray for them. And praying for them is the minimum of loving them. It is very important to remember those who make life difficult for us. Not for the sake of taking revenge, not for the purpose of asking God to punish them for what they do to us, but rather to pray for them so that they may benefit from the blessings that we are receiving. How do I deal with bashers? How do I deal with trolls? How do I deal with those who lie about me? I have to tell you that I thank God for them. Honestly, frankly, I thank God for them. You know why? Because they keep me humble. They prevent ego from being bloated. Because humility is not just about saying no to praise. Humility is also accepting criticism, accepting attacks against you, but you do not allow them to stick to you. And the instrument for them not to stick to you is wrap yourself in oil. And that oil is called the oil of prayer. If you pray and people praise you, it will not stick to you. It will not remain in your head because they will just roll down. If you pray and people criticize you or utter slander against you, they will not stick to you also. You know why? Because you have wrapped yourself by the grace of God. The trolls, the people who make life difficult for us, they are there for a purpose. They have a purpose in our lives. God does not like liars. God does not like calumniators. God does not like slanderers. But if slanderers and calumniators and liars are present in our lives, they still serve a purpose. Because in the words of St. Paul, everything works out for the good of those who love God. Even slanderers and calumniators and liars and gossipers can be used by God to make us more humble, to make us purer of heart, to make us more loving. How do I deal with bashers? How do I deal with trolls? Love them. Ask the Lord, Lord, how do you look at bashers? How do you look at trolls? How do you look at liars against me? I am sure you love them. For a while, I might have hatred in my heart. For a while, I might entertain thoughts of revenge against them. But Lord, keep my wounds clean. I have been wounded. I have been hurt. But do not allow the virus of revenge the virus of taking vengeance, the virus of getting even with those who attack us to ever infect me. Lord, keep my wounds clean because clean wounds also heal faster. 
How do you deal with your enemies? How do you deal with those who make life difficult for you? Love them like Jesus.